laughing your ass off yeah. at my team. There's all and the shut up. Hey, look, he's a luck. He's in your team. He's a luck. Uh, yeah. He's a luck. 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 You don't even have the fog. Did you not learn your lesson last? Yeah, he also got five saying that he's going to become a full time midfielder. Nice hair, by the way. And I think he's there. Hey, three games. Now, we said that last year. You know why? He's a year younger. He's a year older. He broke down last you year. Have you seen him this year? He's always huge. They're always huge. And you see him, though. I say it like that. You've got, you got to read at F2. My read is at F5. There is a stark difference in our forward line. A huge difference in no, our forward not, line. My not... forward line will smash your forward line spaces, so you're... <laughs> Welcome back to Supercoach Masters. Thanks for joining me, Zeebs. Uh, this is George. This is Zeebs. This is Zeebs. This is George on a uh, Monday, Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday. Happy holidays, everybody. Wednesday, because we're filming Tuesday. We'll probably come out tomorrow. Chad, how you been? How was your, how was your Easter? Did you get any chocolates? Any had, tuna had, chocolates? Any vegan chocolates? Any disgusting... I had normal chocolate, you fucking idiot. Oh, that's a good chocolate. <laughs> he doesn't ever have normal chocolate. That's good, Chad. Um, Easter Bunny, get you No, well, I was speaking to a harp. He specifically said, don't make this a two-hour podcast. Don't make him talk about his big score. All right, cool. I didn't have a big score. What's good? I didn't have a big good. score. Oh-ho. Anyway, Jules... <laughs> Bow, bow, champion, where do we find us for the way? If you're not watching, if you're check it, really that's there they are. We're yeah. Twitter. Hey guys, if you're on Spotify, come join us over at YouTube and please subscribe because Maddie, we've got a big giveaway happening. You know what's happening. Well, this you is want to get some beanies, all, all the merches, all the merches. We're gonna do a big giveaway. There's not too many people in this. All you need to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel and then send us this. Is news. that it? Well, yeah. Also, I have to share the post, but I guess if you're watching on here, you can't really share the post. So. Just send us a screenshot that you subscribed and you get in the draw to win a bunch of merch. It closes at the end of round five. Matt's it. Okay, cool. That sounds <laughs> great, Jay. Good stuff. You organised all that. Well, yeah, of course. Got the beanies, all the beanies are working. You were in a beanie. You look very nice and cosy. I forgot that I was doing this podcast, so that's why I got my uh, dorky glasses on and I didn't do my hair, so I thought just throw on the beanie and not the... It's very cold in here, even though it's not cold. But um, cold weather is coming, so make sure you jump on the merch tour. If you can't win the, the competition, go on there, get yourself a sexy beanie. Get a white one, get a grey one, get a polo. Um, meanwhile, for pal. No, meanwhile. Coffee shouts. Now, Matt Zeebs. Who's coughing and shouting anyway? Now, Matty, we got, a, we got a coffee shout from someone called Mr. X. Ooh. And Mr. X has got some things to say. What's he has to say, Mr. So Mr. X? So Mr. X says, gents, he's got 10 coffees, by the way. He is wow. legit. Got the best on ground for this week's coffee shout. Good on you. Good on you, Mr. Mr. X. Gents, been watching and listening for a couple of years now, and I thought I'd give back. The missus hasn't got a got choice it. every week to watch it either. Enjoy the must chinos. I'll ask for a team analysis, but we'll leave that for another time purely because I don't know when this will go up. No worries, Mr. X. Mr. X, thank you. I was thank speaking to someone, I think we mentioned in the last podcast, oh, what do, how do I get a team analysis on the potty? I'm like, oh, if you shout more than five coffees, we'll, we'll do it. Well, so, he's clearly done. So, so, Mr. X, you just tell us, usually whenever you shout the coffee, if it's after the, the Monday or the Tuesdays, uh, we'll review it on the next day. So, it's on the weekend. As soon as you finish Supercoach, send us your team, and we'll review it on the potty yeah, for you. Maybe you should send it on the, uh, the Facebook, and then we can. Um, mm. you'll have your analysis, I'll have mine. Just make sure you mention that you're on the Hall of Fame now, because... There's a lot of me people messaging me on there that are not on the Hall of Fame that I do not respond to. So, <laughs> now, Matty, Brucey, and this is not the Bruce. This is a new Brucey. What? The Bruce is going to be shattered. Oh, oh wow. Like we got these. another one. This is like I'm the Salwood a... Brothers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Hey, Legends. Been watching and listening to you boys for a while now. Always a good listen on the way to work. Keep up the good Thanks, work. Thanks, Brucey. Three Brucey, coffees. no worries, mate. I think the last thing I'd want to do is hear Matty and my voice uh, drive to work in the morning, but... Cheers to you for doing Thank, it. Thanks, Brucey. I think uh, the real, the Bruce is going to be very, very Three annoyed. coffees. Brucey, He's good be job. Well, you know, I don't think any of these people, Brucey, uh, they're real now. I don't think no. either of them is names. That is no, the the, not the, even this one. The famous, the Bruce, that was, what, what was he last year? He was year the, the um, who was the Coleman medalist last year? He came third in the Best in the Very, very well, the big Bruce. Um, chat to me today, does, sends a lot of voice chats, which are very funny. <laughs> he um, does, I can't even keep up with them. Yeah, they're pretty funny. Brucey, thanks for joining us, mate. We always love to hear our first time uh, commenter, long time listener. So thanks for joining in, mate. Three coffees, that's perfect. You don't Appreciate come with that. one, you come with three. That's what we wanted. Yep. Now, Craig got lost pistols. Oh, How you doing, back, Craig? Craig? Good to see you back, Craigo. He's bought four coffees, hey champs, one coffee for George, one for the Miz, one for Maddie, and an extra one for the birthday boy. You must be talking about my birthday in January, it's Craig. Me, thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. Happy birthday to Maddie, by the way. Thank you, everybody. 38 uh, years young. 
Nice. Uh, hang uh, in. Don't look a day out of the forty. They hang do. in for the round three potty. No teams before Jay Carroll plays this arrow is annoying. Cheers. So I think he's talking about the Monday teams. It's hard yes. to get the loopholes sorted. Craigo definitely hard to get sorted. But Jay Carroll, he looks like he's going to be a superstar. For he's in my he? team. He um, looks good. He looks like he's good. He's he love that on. gal, but he died down in the last quarter. But anyway, I think he was a bit injured. He went off for a bit to get nah, get looked at. Fine. Now CJ Samut. I love he's, it. He's actually firming real close for the second place. Uh, well, he's in second place. He's firming for the first place. He's really challenging Wahabi this year. I love so, it. Legends, how good is Heaney going, Matty? Hope you have brought in him, Jordy. I haven't. <laughs> Jordy is still uh, watching those 148s go and Zeebs a score while he's getting those nice five scores. I tell you, CJ, I am tripling, <laughs> tripling my antidepressants this week. Uh, it's just, it really upset me. He's now 591, champ. He's not going any lower than that over the next two weeks. Let's see what else has CJ got to say. Now, do you think that rookie, my Coletti, <laughs> has good job security? I think he might have some okay job security. I don't know about his scoring potential, Is that though, the one CJ? that got subbed off with three touches and two goals? Yeah. Okay. But they had a... Uh, Bolter is out for five weeks. Oh, they've got Bolter out. They've got, I think Baker's going to get Baker got suspended, but they're challenging that suspension. Tom Lynch is out as well. He'll be out for a while. Hopper's not there. Um, Presti is not there. They've got a lot of injuries there. Who knows? Probably. So, I don't know anything about his scoring potential, though. Um, this is only so we can afford to bring in steel, Matt Zeebs, and I know how much he'd love a steel. So I'm a few grand short of bringing in Darcy otherwise, or I would go him. Uh -huh. Other option is going Darcy and Matt Crouch. Now, personally, I like Matt Crouch just as much as a steel. We had this conversation last week, I think. We did, and steel, the way that he's been doing those CBAs is just uh, ridiculously great, and uh, yeah. I love steel, and I'm really upset that someone talked me out of not getting him, but... Why are you, 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 you referring to me? No, 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 There's this other person that's spoken me out yeah, of it. Okay. You really uh, think you've got that can, much influence on me? Can you please give me some credit for helping you out with that young short thing? JB, it was a very no-brainer. Like shorts. That's a no-brainer okay. after I spoke no, to no, you. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, so, so the advice you gave me. You on... actually thanked me on the weekend. Uh, I Why are you changing the narrative now? You thanked me on the weekend. Just thanked me on the podcast. Okay, so this is now coming. You're a hypocrite to yourself, champ. Who did you get rid of this weekend? I got rid of Young. Oh. I'm a hypocrite to myself. I agree. I'm an idiot. It's okay. You so, said thank you. Thank you for being an idiot. That's not what I said. <laughs> so thank you, George. I was so close to getting rid of I was um, never getting rid of Young. Short. I had way too many problems besides Young to get rid of Short. But Short's re wing roll and whatever. He, he played in defense this week and he's still got a 60. He's just a... And CJ Matt Crouch. Let's go Matt Crouch and Darcy instead of a... Le Le okay, so what? He's going to get that Richmond rookie in Steel or a Darcy and a uh, Matt Crouch? Champ Steel. We'll talk about Steel and we'll talk about Matt Crouch. Just, which option does CJ... Go with JJ. It's Darcy Find and ways Crouch to get them because both. that's my that's my advice. <laughs> Find ways to get them both. Find ways to get them both. Okay. All right. Well, that is actually uh, it for the coffee shouts, I believe. Matt Good. Sleeps. Uh, Wahab wants you to speed it up. Oh Jim. wait. Uh, speaking of Wahab, I forgot. Wahab bought a really late one. Oh, Wahab has five coffees on the verge of deleting my team and never watching the AFL again. Thanks to some brainless <laughs> coaches. I know who he's talking about. I think he's talking, he loves having a go at Sam Mitchell. Yeah. Had, I think, Amon on the bench for a lot of the last quarter. Oh, and yeah. He needed 20 touches to fit his multi in. And how did we all like uh, Bont going in the full forward uh, against West Coast and subbing Liver off? I mean, I that? mean, he fucking cheated his way to 110. I couldn't believe it. I was just speaking to Jamie before on the phone on the way here. Bont, I saw him on seven touches. He was on 68. It's like he's almost up. averaging 10 points every touch he gets like They're pretty good cut i was cut laughing because at half time baku Kamas was on the same points as bond <laughs> like this is a great round and then didn't watch the rest of the half because i don't really watch west coast games and then he's on 110 with 16 games. touches and it's ah, oh, he just does a fart and he gets 20 points um but that's the bot for you super coach data loves touching bonds ball oh <coughs> Yep, and I can see why he's a superstar of the comp. Come on, Bonte, you owe me a big one against the Cats this week. Now, that brings us to the leaderboard. We have the Brownline medalist Wahab on 300 super coach points. CJ Samadon, 280. Luke Donlan, Ray D. Mr. X has flown to the top five with his 10 coffees. Good on you, champ. And Dave turned it up. The Brucey. Craig lost pistols back up there. Uncle D. Haven't seen you in a while, Uncle D. I hope you're still alive. Glenn Fear itself. Big 40. 
Get yourself a beanie like Forty has. Do what Forty does. Champ, the list is on the screen. Why do you have to talk about? Because I love these guys. <laughs> this is the reason why I turn up. I don't know why you turn up, but I turn talk up about for these guys. Oh yeah, because I don't get any of the coffee, so I don't care. No, Champ, I'll give, you, <laughs> I'm gonna give you a coffee right in the face. <laughs> well, please. <laughs> you got one. Now this is a good uh, segue, Matt Zeebs, into our chopping block segment. Now, Matt Zeebs. Do you want to put your chopping block up first or should I put my chopping block uh, up first? Oh, you put yours because I haven't even got mine in front of me, so put your up. Actually, let's put up your trades last week up. That oh, would be well, better. Well, All right, Matty Zeeps' trades. Look what he's done, guys. He's got Jaden Short out. Lions out. Berry out. In Sarong, in Pau, D Ambrosia in as well. They're pretty good ins, Matty. You happy course. with that? Yeah, I am. Will uh, you have changed anything? Um, no. No, I don't think I could have got Sarong for steel. It would have got me the same score. And then I would have had an extra two hundred thousand dollars to play around for this week. But now I'm happy with Sarong. Um, now I'm happy with all of them. Mm -hmm. Powell, even though I got twenty eight touches, only a ninety two in a losing team. I and still he slotted a beauty. He had I still think he is gonna be in there till the end, champ. And I, I said remember, that last right. week. Um, how did you go, champ? Because last time we spoke, you said you were going to get Win Hager. I don't. I decided not to get Win Hager. Well, you didn't. Um, but uh, it's, it was either. It's not really because it's like I either had to get someone in the defence. I had to get Pink or I had to get Win Hager. So, so I got Pink. So okay. let's go down to my trades, which are horrible. Young out. You know, I was to tossing up between Dacos. Yeah. Uh -huh. James, you know, this is not something you what? laugh at. Why not? Because it's making me want to hurt you. But that's why I'm laughing. So you, know you know just called yourself an idiot because you traded him out. So of course, if you do your stupid thing, you're gonna get laughed Sham, at. Sham, you were like, you completely last party, you were 100% young out. And I'm like, oh. I, I didn't, didn't say that, let's go back to it. Cause I didn't say that. Like I was gonna get them both. I was gonna keep them both, to be honest. Just because you got to, anyway. Young, out, Sarong in, Bonner, <laughs> Bonner out, Pink in, and Lions out, Pal in. So show how you like those trades this week. <laughs> <laughs> Mother 104. You're the biggest scumbag. You know, Jump! People in other podcasts, they no, want, don't their, get upset they want their co potties to do good. You know, so oh, they, yeah, I'll secretly. Yeah, you, you're just a piece of shit. Chad, did I message you about Tom Stewart getting concussed as well? You, you know what? I was thinking when he knows Kim, go, oh, at least Maddie's got him, he'll do well. And then when Tom Stewart got some videos, ha ha ha, I've always something funny. Yeah, but that's what we do. That's what you do because you're a scumbag. Uh, Chad, shut up. Anyway, I was if getting you out of 70, you would have been laughing as well. If, you know? if I was going to get rid of Nick Dacos but instead of Young, but I thought. Points on the field, and I let all you idiots decide. <laughs> all you people. Oh, see, Jordy always blaming somebody else. But it's my fault. But that's right. There are contributing factors, <laughs> <laughs> which is you idiots. <laughs> there was a don't get rid of Jokos, and then you know his break even was 170. Young almost hit his break even, and now he's going to be <laughs> playing an extra game. The Nick Dacos. So we'll get into the trades at the end of this segment. But that's what me and Maddie did. Obviously, I got one nine eight two. Maddie got two o five. By the way, I got two o whatever it was with. Um, green and Flanders and 110k cash on the bench. Yep, some would say that it's probably better used on your, in your team than on the bench, but... But it worked out fine. Well, let's get into Matty's shit team. We get straight into it. This is what, this is a team that scored 2,056. Have a look at it. Now, for the guys on Spotify, we've got Nick Dacos, she's all young. Oh, no, we're still wrong captain. I should have gone. It would have been so huge. Being yeah, you, you need to be smarter with your captain choices. Um... Definitely. Look, that's a nice looking forward line with Bukaki Kamas there. I can't wait to see who you're trading in and out this week, Matt Zeebs. But mm -hmm. uh, that is Matty's team for you guys. What do you reckon, Zeebs? Looking good there. Champ, love it. You got nothing else to say about your shit team? I don't know. Cool. Now, my shit team. Here it is. <laughs> I really like that. them five. The Bont, Sarong, Butters, Crouch, Green. And then you got those three rookies, I think. Totally, dude. I really want more, dude, but... <laughs> <laughs> and that's my team. How's that four line looking, chap? Yeah. No Heenies, no Flanders, just pure shit in the forward. Yeah. Yeah. At least we've got Ollie Dempsey. You got some work 86. to do. Oh, Baku Carlos got an 82. Yeah, they're both superstars. <laughs> they're both, they're superstars. They're both superstars. Now let's get on to the potential trade outs, Matt Seeps. And here I got. James Jordan on the block, Fife on the block, Howes on the block, Reed on the block, and Barry. Very, very good people that you need to kick. If you had five trades, I'll do it all right now. <laughs> you love uh, speaking. You, Bonner. I've got, After you got, uh, I think it was over a thousand meters gained and a record amount of 17 clangers. Uh, 17 clangers. That's the most in any game. I know, I saw that stat. Fantastic. That was, that was ridiculous. Howes as well, James Jordan, Ollie Wines, and Nick Coffield, Maddie, all of them. 
on the block. So mm -hmm. these are the guys we're considering trading out. We're gonna tell you what we think of a trade in. We're just gonna quickly go through the games and it's not gonna be that long. All right, cool. Now no fellow no, the best. Game of the round! Collingwood versus Brisbane. Collingwood actually won their first game, so congratulations, the uh, 20 point win. No one really to talk about here because no one's going to be getting Brisbane players. Now, new. I want to talk to you about someone here. The goalie. He's, he's already 4-4. So cheap. You know, he's gonna, if he gets his projected score of 63 this week, hypothetically, he'll be under 400k, he'll be 3-9. So the thing with the goalie is he's either going to get you a 9 out of 10 or a 2 out of 10 game. Mm -hmm. There's never in between. There's no consistency with him. He's very high, very low. And for me, he's back to his 2022 type season where oh, yeah. he'll get 140 and then 30 the next Well, game. he's got three really low numbers, so he's due for a hundred, couple of 140s. Yep. He's literally... Can, you can pick him up for a same swap for James Jordan in a couple well, of look, weeks. Well, look, if we're going to talk about the guys, you might as well talk about Tom Mitchells. No, Tom, we're not talking about Tom Mitchells, okay? Because Tom Mitchells... Almost had him. <laughs> Tom Mitchell's a... He got three votes that game. Yeah, right. Yeah, anyway. All right, so let's talk about Nick Dacos, okay? He's going to be on a lot of people. I loved his role, but I hated how he played. I hated his role, and I hated how he played. I love the fact <laughs> that he did no contested footy, and he was just kicking it, kick to kick, but he wouldn't tackle. He was missing targets. I was eyeing him so closely, and he was missing targets. His role is back to his last year's best for the first half of the season, but... Oh, he could have done a lot better if he just hit the targets. He's break even 170, no worries there. Just ride the, ride the, ride the cash loss and yeah, just pay like, for a better just, day. Nah, he's, if he keeps playing there, and obviously we won by 20 points against the undefeated Brisbane in the Gabba for a long time. Mm. Um, oh, he just, he's, it he's, makes me think that maybe they won't tag him because they didn't they need him to they, do good. They didn't. They didn't. They got Tom Mitchell you in the got, midfield. I'm talking about when we play Hawthorne this weekend. It's got Finn, Mc, uh, Finn McGuinness. Now, Jordy, there's someone else I really want to talk about. There can't be anyone from this game. There is. Is it who? It's Dane Zorko, guys. Hear me out! Jam, I said we're going to go through these games quickly. And all right, okay. It's, shit player. All right, Dane Zorko in the four line. Look at him, his heat map. He's been playing in the back line. He's been taking kick ins. He's no wingman player anymore. And he just got 127. With the shit that's in the four line, champ, he needs to be considered. Because every other four line player, it's Mackay, it's Hogan, it's Max King, it's all these tall forwards. We're never going to pick. But Zorko's got that back line role, Jules. <laughs> He's 35 years old, you idiot. He is enough. To, well, I don't care if he's 35 or 25. He's getting 127s in Brisbane's back Probably line. Probably retire in the next fucking two games. And Jap, he's not 35 years old, you idiot. He, he yeah, is, is he? turning 35. He's just turned 35 um, in February. So happy birthday to Zorko. <laughs> happy birthday. Um, I'm glad right. I could have Now, Lockie Neal was probably the only person you consider from the Lions. Uh, he looks... Really good in that game, but he heard that he had a bit of an ankle injury. He's in doubt to play this week, I believe. He could get up, but if he doesn't, look for Jared Lyons to recall his spot. He got like 37 touches in the seconds, and we'll probably press in and probably make a lot of money. Uh, Jaws, next game. Next game. Now, Carlton and North. Now, Matty, the Pinkster got 19. Love that. And he's probably in danger of getting dropped. He got killed by the Twin Towers of Carlton. So, no chance. How could you not? When Mackay when and uh, Kerno are kicking nine goals between and you're a key backman, I think yeah. you're going to be sweating yeah. for uh, match, match, match review uh, picking. That's for sure. Absolutely, Matty. Now, um, Fisher is another one that will be on a lot of people's chopping block. I kind of think... With all the players that are in the forward line, I'd rather be trading out Fisher than Fife's and Jordan's at the moment if you had him, right? Uh, you'd rather trade out Fisher? Than James, than James Jordan if sure. you had both of them, right? Sure, I don't have any of them, so that's yeah, not a Yeah, Fife, James Jordan, or stuff, people like that. Yeah, so, definitely. Um, now, Alder U, he's going to be cheap in a couple of weeks. Add him to your watch list after... Uh, Is it too late to get Powell? How much? He went up 60k, didn't he? Um, is it too late to get him? I think he's. I don't think it's too late to get anyone really. I, I mean, if you think that he's going to be a keeper and not a cash cow, he's I averaging think... one hundred and five. He's three hundred seventy-five thousand in the midfield. Uh, sorry, in the four line. I think you can only get him if you believe that you're going to be keeping him for the end of the year. I will you... be keeping him for the end of the year. I will be too. There's if he, no... if his role continues, um, would I bring him in at three seven? That's a bit iffy for me. Okay. Um, I think it was really team dependent. If you get, are getting power after a price rise, I don't mind it. But it's not to make money. Anymore. Still got 88, 89% time on ground, not time on ground, um, centre bounce attendances. He, yeah, he absolutely smashed it. Um, Alder is going to be one to watch Sheasel, in the coming week. Sheasel has to be the number one kind of target in the back line. I think him and Luke Reimer. A question for you. Please. 
Is Sheasel even close to be a vice captain option these days? No. Okay, cool. Because I got Butters, Sarong, Green, Bont, Gorn. What about against St. Kilda? Mm. Ah. Nick Martin did get 44 touches against him. So. Um, all right. Are they playing St. Kilda this week? No, they are not. Okay. Um, oh, thanks for that. Thank you for playing Wishman. Is it too late to get Harry Mackay, who's got three massive tons in a row? I, it's never too early to get him. I'll never get him in my I wouldn't get. I wouldn't get him either. Uh, um, good on you if you started with him or got him before his price rise. A great pick, but I wouldn't be chasing him. Zach Williams is giving their 70s, not really breaking those 90s or 80s I really wanted. And um, look, I don't think there's too much that would be trading in for these teams, Maddie. What do you reckon? I think just keep an eye. Would you even consider Elijah Hollins if he gets another 116? Well, we'll talk about that next week yes. if he gets another 116. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go to the next game. Come on, Kirch. I didn't get him. Good. Um, um, Carol and Clark. Carol and Sharp went up the exact same amount of money and averaging, I think, both 68 each. Um, too late to get any of those boys? Yes. Yes? I don't want them anyway. I would want a Carol. I wouldn't want Carol. Would you? I don't know if I'd pay for that much for one, but I probably would because other than Darcy and maybe... Uh, what are you going to get rid of him for? If you got to okay. perform, my, my team's for superstars, so I don't really know. That's why I have to get rid of Youngs. Another good <laughs> game, Fremantle versus Adelaide. One of my favourite games of the round next to Collingwood. Uh, so, Caelan Young goes berserk, it's 132. Good news to everyone that's held on to him. Clearly, he's not even going to go past. His break-even is 97 now. Um, he's going to go soaring up. Saron came in, Luke Ryan... All these superstars, champ. Even Jordan, Jordan Clark. What do you think of that guy? He just—he yeah, has three really good numbers in a row. Um, and he doesn't know when to quit. Yeah, look, it's a really. If he won, I wouldn't, I'm not picking him. I wouldn't be picking him. Only if I had enough money for him, I still wouldn't be picking him. But mm. if someone else did and they done really well with that pick, got on them. It's a good pod. Luke Jackson, um, Shrek could be coming back next week or the week after, champ. Um, I don't think it's next week. Could be. Um, it could be that. I like I like Jackson better vice captain this week. Then I like um, there's pretty wrong. There's rumours that he could be out. That um, who? Uh, that not not out. Um, so Sean Darcy is a chance to return against Port Adelaide, and Cal Warner has a couple of few steps to check off to return his from his concussion. Mm. So now question with Jackson because of it. It's inevitable that big stinky Shrek is going to come mm. back into the team. Now would you trade him before? Before Shrek comes in the team, or wait to see how shit Jackson does while he's in the team. Uh, I think it really depends on how many problems you got in your team at that stage. However, if he's coming back around that Port Adelaide game, maybe trade him out. If he's coming back at West Coast, because I know that's the game before or after, I would hold him if mm. he's in the forward line at well, West Coast. So you're missing my question. My question is: Do you want to see Jackson and Darcy? If for the Jackson owners, would you want to get rid of Jackson before that happens? I, I, or do you want to see the game? I don't need to see the game to know what he's going to do because I've got the averages of when he was with and without him. But if he's playing as a forward, when they're playing West Coast in round six, I'm more than happy to hold him. Okay, that makes sense. Um, all right, that's all for those boys. Okay, yeah. champ, five. Everyone's, a lot of people have got him, champ. What do you How many thoughts? touches? How many touches did he get, Matty? Champ, he got... 21 touches, however, he was on 19 touches at three-quarter time when the sub vest came on Emmett. Mm. So he might as well have been subbed. He didn't, no, la, no last quarter impact, not that he needed any, the game was already won. Um, I think it's still worth keeping Fife if you have, I, I think Fife is, obviously we saw him go, you know, 90 plus in the first round and I think he can it. easily do that again, especially with the role he's been given. I kind of think that he's not very easy because his kick to handball ratio is very, he's a far, very far from the spectrum, 16 to 15, and it's been like that all, all season. The only good thing keeping his points up is the fact that he's getting 11 contested and mm. nine clearances with handballs, yeah. um, which gets him to the point where he's getting 69. I think, but yeah. He's just not the five that we. He's in the midfield, yes. Absolutely. He's, he's dishing it out to Sarongs and Brayshaws if they're not getting the contested footy, but. Sarongs and Brayshaws, yeah. Like, he, he's got a good role. He's going to. I mean, he's going to be doing more handballs now than kicks. Like, he's an older player now. He doesn't want to be using all that. He doesn't, sore legs. he doesn't even want to tackle. He's got one tackle. He's a, he's a veteran now, champ. Veteran. Veterans don't tackle, except for Yulini Hayes. Yeah. And I think he's got some. Except for Lenny Hayes. I think he's still, still got a couple of 90s in him. So mm. I'll be keeping him. I like him better than James Jordan. It's just the only thing is that James Jordan has West Coast this week. So it makes it a really hard decision if you have both and you only want to get rid of one. Can I just talk about that West Coast element? Everyone thinks putting a captain against West Coast is the best. If you're not performing, or if the player that you have against West Coast isn't performing in the like at least first or second quarter where the mm. game's up for grabs, 
all those junk points are crap. You, you just don't score. So, um, do you know what I mean? Like the, the, I understand what you're saying. If you're not kicking I, three goals in the first quarter where he's already on 60 by the first, whoever it is, by you know the end of the first quarter, I understand it's what you're hard saying. points to get from everyone else. Yeah, but that being said, the 3,300 Supercoach points a game that needs to be distributed, mm -hmm. and I think those West Coast players have about 1,000 of them. So it's just the other team's going to get way more points and if they have a good game, they're going to have a really good game. So I was still going to bet. I'm saying, like Heaney's got I agree. West Coast this week. That's so Heaney's going to score well because he's going to impact the game for the first two, three quarters. Elliot Yo, straight to him. Come on. No, he's not doing anything, Elliot Yo. Come on, Simpson. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Um, Adelaide, what do you think, champ? Dawson, if you didn't get oh, rid of him, I love so champ. Sad. He's so booming on my radar right now. If you know, he is already like five six, I believe. Oh, and my goodness. He's 5'6", and he's got a huge break even. I think he's almost a week or two away from coming into my team. He's actually got a really good buy um, that I don't mind. Um, mm -hmm. I think the first buy's got the most amount of players of premiums that are so. missing that, you know. Because they've got the North, they've got the GWS, they've got the Sydneys, and they've got the uh, so, Brisbane's. Yeah, absolutely. So Dawson's 590, right? And his break even is 174. So if he gets another 100... Uh, 103. He goes What's down, he averaging? He's, got, he's going down 32K. So he's averaging, uh, I think it's... 80 something. 80 something? No, I don't know. He's averaging 82. Um, he's got an 82, a 96, and a 68. So he's averaging 82. Yeah. So Jordan Dawson's dream team average, though, is 106, which says that he is getting the ball. He is doing pretty well. He just can't hit a target. Round um, six is a great round to bring him in. If he gets two 100s, he'll be 530. And you're getting an Uber premium for 5 I think Dawson and Oliver are both on the watch list. I don't know even about Goulden's Robert. We'll go into that when we get to the next game. Uh, Matt Crouch is still doing what he does. A lot of 15 contested most of the game. He's only in 10% of teams still. I love it. He's seven, great. Seven clearances. He's That's just still, kicked the ball a little bit There's more. no one really else. Um, Wayne Malira, who cares? All right, move to Bombers, St. Kilda. George Merritt got 50-odd points in the last quarter. What a 65 super. points he got, actually. 65 or 66 points. He's a superstar. Nick Martin really scared everyone at, like, half time. And let's talk about Nick Martin. And let's talk about the potential uh, ups and downs of trading him back in or if you've never had him in your team. No, it's a bad idea. It's, it's against St. Kilda. Like we know, champ, St. Kilda give away a lot of points to defenders. Nick Martin, this is his best game he's ever going to get. He's never going to get 44 possessions again. Um... Hmm. Yes or no? I don't. May, yeah, I don't think he will get forty-four. I still think he can get maybe thirty and still clean up what's, his disposals. What's impressive? He was ninety-seven percent time on ground. That's that's the main thing. And we spoke about this last week for the people who still had him. He um, gets so much time on ground for a defender. That's not a tall forward. Like so much time on ground that he's going to be getting a lot of the ball. Okay. So to get these numbers, like forty-four touches, it's eight marks, eight contested. This is not 136. This should be like Gary Ablett Jr. But score. But if you had that, you wouldn't be complaining, right? I would be considering what he was at halftime. He was already on 100 and something at halftime. Yeah, absolutely. But so for, to the point that Merritt caught up within one quarter, got 65 points. Well, Merritt's an absolute uber premium that costs over 650K. Well, now he does. This guy is under 500K. You're probably, so are you saying Nick Martin can replicate this again? I'm saying Nick Martin can get 120. I'm saying that's and saying that he's going to get DPP in a couple of weeks, mm. and I think he could be a viable option if you want to bring him in. I know a lot of people don't want to because they traded him out, but if that helps you get a Butters and a Sarong or a Bont, and you had to do it before, you know, whatever reason, I, if you're going to be trading him in, I think he's going to potential to be the top eight defender. I think he can. I think he could be gettable when he gets his DPP. I wouldn't want to waste the midfield spot for Nick Martin. Well, the thing is, if you wait one week, hypothetically, if you wait one week, then you've got the buy. So you're not, you, you don't have the three rookies on the field that everyone's got, Sanders, McKercher, and Roberts. Roberts. So there will be someone that's missing the buy, like Roberts. So then you have him in the midfield for that thing. Then after that game, he'll be DPP eligible. That's and then, so. so the only thing I'm considering with Nick Martin is the fact that he did play St. Kilda. St. Kilda gives up a lot of possessions to the back line, but he did have a lot of kickouts. He sure did. He was on time. Time on ground was... More than anyone, more pretty than, much. More than forwards. anyone. Small, and, and, he looked, and he looked really good besides, if he just cleans up a disposal, like hitting a target from 20 metres out in the defensive 50, which he easily can do, I think there's a lot of upside to Nick Martin. 
I know, I know a lot of people don't want to hear It's hard for me to hear it. Yep, you're right, champ. <laughs> it's hard for me to hear it. We all know we touched on Merritt, who's an absolute beast. I don't think there's anyone else in Essendon. Parrish had a pretty crap game 80, on the 80 super coach. Mm-hmm. Could be on a watch this track here. St. Kilda, Saints. So let's go to the boys that I love. Bonner, 104. Wow. Uh, Bonner, 104. 29 let's... kicks, three mark, uh, nine marks, three anvils. Um, yeah, you could be on the trouble block for me, Chan. That's, that's, that's a stupid thing with Bonner. Like, last week, you have to just play the role. It was Sinclair doing the kick out. Tell him Bonner to F off, and then Sinclair does the kick out. Sinclair got, like, one kick out, and then Bonner had, like, six or something. Ooh. So the role has changed again. For whatever reason, Ross Lyon, the moron, wants to know. I don't know. He wants Riley Bonner doing kick outs now, and now he's reapering all the rewards for it. Well, Sinclair is, uh, haven't, hasn't hit 100 yet <sighs> this year, so I don't even know what's... Sinclair's problem is he maybe... He came back from injury, so give him still some time sore. to warm up. But who is still pummeling those 120s is my boy Jack Steele. He's not my boy yet, but I hope he will be. One um, day. One day. One day soon. Um, Jack Steele um, just loves contesters. Um, just love him. Um, Jack Steele, do you think he can be a top eight midfielder? I think he can be at least... Not top eight, but he could be not your he could be your M8. My man. As in your team. I think, well, look, he's at the moment in midfield, he's a top eight midfielder in the midfield after three games. Um, so, yeah, I do. I do. Think, I don't know if he can keep it up. I think, I'm well, sceptical. Why not? Because why not, Jeff? Why not? He's... Tell me one good reason why he can't. I just don't like St Kilda. See, okay, <laughs> I don't like St Kilda. I don't think so... he gets enough touches. I think he, once he starts the, he's a little bit more ineffective in a couple of his games, it's going to drop a little bit. I think he's a superstar champ. I think. Um, I don't hate it if you pick well, him up. Well, he's ninth. Okay, so let's face it. So he's ninth at the moment in midfielders, and that's including um, Setterfield. Setterfield, who's not going to be in. Well, how about William Drew, who's 10th? Um, but look, he's up there with the best champ. So above at him. At the moment, he is. Above him is Sarong. Matty, Green. we could talk about now all you want, but that's, you know, it's not going to. All right, you don't the like He's going to change. You don't like him, I like him. I um, don't not like him. I just. For his price, I reckon there are better options. Mm. For his price, there are no better options. I'd rather put 50k in him and get an actual. Well, that's like his price then. Okay, well, I'm going to put 50k in him and get someone better. Put 50k and get who? Who's someone better? Anyone. Setterfield? (laughs) Setterfield? You don't have to put 50k into him and get a Setterfield. Who then? You can't put 50k into anyone. Neil, you can't even put 50k. Anyway, um, Steele's great at his price. Um, Probably the best average player at his price right now. Probably number one at his price right now. George, thank you. Um, so love technically, you. no one's the exact same price. So. Well, anyone around the 5.5, five, he's averaging the most. So he's the best player at his price, just so you okay. know. Okay. Okay. okay, after you're done sucking him off, can we continue Yes, we can, I'm, I'm <laughs> sucking, we can do the podcast. Uh, who else, Champ, you want to talk about? When Hager got suspended, they are not, <laughs> they're not challenging it. Uh, Darcy Wilson, I'd be thinking second thoughts before playing him on the ground ever again. Ever again, Champ. I was so, you were so close getting that win, Hager. As he oh, scored Lord. more than pink. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he sure did. Um, but anyway, that was Win Hager. Champ, when you Malira, were you happy with his game? Everyone jumped on him. A lot of people jumped on him. Um, if I was the owner, I'd be unhappy with the way he played, but I'd be happy with a 91. Oh, definitely. He hasn't got anything lower than a 90 in the season. So. That's not bad. Not bad. Next game. Joel, next game, we're looking at Port Adelaide, Melbourne. Champ, did you like this game? I bet you no. Did. Well, you had Max Gorn. Because Butters didn't do well. Oh, oh, poor Butters. Poor Butters. I did have Gorney captain. Good Follow job. for me for more captain advice. Yep. <laughs> Max Gorn absolutely dominated, 177. If you don't get him in this week, I don't think you can afford to get him in. Would you even bring in Max Gorn knowing that he's got a buy in two, two weeks? Chaps, this you know, week do you know his other two next games? Is it... Well, once against Adelaide. And... Nope, don't know that one. What's that one? West Coast? No. It won't know. be West Coast. I'm pretty sure he's got a good run. He's going to dominate regardless. Um, it's Max Gorn. Well, he's got, doesn't he have? He's got McInerney and Riley O'Brien, and then Richmond. I think. Oh, and then at... and then the next two games: Geelong, Carlton, West Coast. They don't even have Ruckman. So after his buy. So after his buy, yeah. Okay. So after his buy, he's a pretty good pickup if you want to spend seven hundred k. Yeah, uh, especially after his buy because he's still got. I don't home. know. Um, we'll talk about captains in option, but yeah, we'll get right. back to that. Maxi Gorn's a real good shout out. He was my captain, top scorer of the round, fifty hitouts of the best. Champ, did you like Oliver and Petrarca not getting a hundred? I don't. Think so. I don't think anyone who's that. I don't think anyone really has them in their team that you know because they got to buy. You know they they're going to trade them out. I don't know. I'm not looking at. Not trading them out. Like I'm talking on a 
unexpected. They got low, so we can pick them up on a watch list. I wouldn't touch Oliver this year. You wouldn't touch him at all? Not at all. I'd rather touch Petrarca, though. I love to touch Petrarca. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think that's the most equivalent. Oh, Marty Hall um, did okay. 52, cons- not too bad. Considering Blake Howell's got a oh, 26. What are we going to do? So I think a lot of us are in the same boat with this. Our trades are going to depend because Blake Howell's plays the first game of the round. Yes. First game of the round, yes. We, it's it's good, good to have him as an emergency. Everyone's got probably a loophole there with either a Caulfield or a Reed that's injured. If we can see that Howell's... Gets a good score, even a sixty-five. We'll probably take that. If not, oh, definitely take it. We're going to probably have to make some trades in the back line that we don't want to. Sideways so trades to Caulfield to like a, a Campbell or what's his name? Draper. Draper and what's the other one? Brown. Yeah. <laughs> They're the only two options if they get games. Billings. I uh, know. I think this oh, is good news funny. if you got Billings because there are so many things. Oh, should I trade? Should I not trade? Billings is an easy. I should trade. So uh, if you do have Billings, at least you have one really absolute. Get him out of my team. There's player. a damn great for Darcy. Absolutely. That's one trade you don't even have to think twice about. Yeah. Now, um, Port Adelaide players. Champ. What the is, hell is William Drew doing to the midfield? He's got midfield time and now he's he keeping had the most, Ollie he Wines. Had more than yep. like Butters, Rose, Wines. It's and really interesting to see what they're going to do with Wines as CBAs when Horn Francis comes back and has a little bit more. I, who's gonna be? Who's that coming from? It can't be Drew. He's on fire. He's on fire. Ollie Wines, both Ollie Wines, right now. He's only had fifty percent of midfield, and he only plays sixty nine percent a game. Um, yeah. He was on ninety one or ninety two at, at three quarter time, thinking he's first going to get his time, but he just take can't. it easy on the pine, Ollie. I you know he's uh, <laughs> those big thunder thighs of his were just warming up that pine, making a fire underneath that, and. Um, I just can't trust his role anymore. Like, you know, Ken Hinkley says, more midfield, more this, more that. He can't even get can't on the You can't trust phone. any coach. Anytime a coach says something, don't believe him, unless they say Heaney's going in they the midfield just, for the third they time. Just, he just, like, he, he's the only one that rests his old guys. Besides the subs, <clears throat> the last time on ground was broken Ollie Wines, and broke got injured at the end of the game. Uh, the veterans. The veterans just were soaking up. Uh, I mean, uh, Wines is not a veteran, but let's just put him in the same category. Why not? All right. Now, yeah. Rosie. Some people have Rosie and they want to shift sideways. Not you. I know you got Rosie, but you've got other problems to fry. Would you condone trading out a Rosé? I don't mind. You don't mind? You say if someone's trading out, you're not going to be like, no. Or you're going to be like, yeah, do it. You're going to be like, yeah, whatever. Well, he hasn't really set the world on fire. Um, not but is quite. he about to? Who, who knows? Like, I, I, look, I don't think so. I don't like. I'll, I don't think he's going to be in my final team. Ooh. Jesus, um, are you thinking of trading Ollie out? Well, there's going to well, that, oh, look, look, Rose. Look, so look at that. Look, you got look at that free man off Port by. Yep. Like we got so yeah, many players. A, yeah, I think I've got. Then there's only two players in that two teams in that buy, and we've I've got like four or five premiums out of those. So mm. they have to move. Okay. You know, if I got Jackson Wines, um, Rose, you know, Young. Um, who knows, Ryan, by that time. Um, there's just so many Houston. Houston's. There's Place just, like that, okay. There's Sarongs. Of, so you're I'm thinking maybe Sarongs. sideways Rosie at the buy. You're happy to play now. Well, downgrade, because Rosé at the moment, he'll, so when Rosé has his buy, um, Sydney won't have a buy, GWS won't have a buy yeah, yeah. anymore. Then you can um, get them out of the year, you always wonder. Yeah. Now, my hot take is that Rosé's going to get 140 this week. Let's hope so. Let's put him captain then. Um, but Oli Wines, I think people that own him, you shouldn't be happy. Oh, I'm not happy. I mean, he hasn't got lower than a 90. He's getting lucky. Um, he's getting lucky with the time that he does, but I think it's time to go um, for me. But no one else here. Butters, champ, you would have been disappointed. With I was disappointed in Butters, but uh, I think he can bounce back in a big way. Of course he in can. Against Essendon, and he might be captain consideration when we get to the captain's corner, Matt Eves. All right, Jordy, let's go to W, one of the shittest game of the round. Now, this Lord. one, Tim is... English, I he looked really good. He'd done nothing last quarter. He got 124. A lot See? of people that had the captain on him would be pretty disappointed. He did snag two snaggle pusses, See, this though. Is, this is what I'm saying with the Wilson Bulldogs lineup. Like, over... You know, the highest score was 124. There was not, there's not too many big, and massive scores, and a lot of people get sucked in with English. The captains. second, the second lowest score was uh, Darcy, and everyone wants to bring him in. He got 54. That's my point. That's because West Coast had hardly any players score well. So no, that's right. And that's pretty disappointing if you're Harley Reid owning. If you own the Harley Davidson, which is Harley Reid. Uh, he would be one to consider trading out. Although, if you want to look at the positive side of Harley Reid, his CBAs are still up there with Ali Yo and the rest of the boys. It's just a matter he, of... The ball should just bounce to him. Just statistically, 
just speaking, just in the shape of the ball, and eventually it should bounce to him one bloody game, and he gets maybe 20 touches, and he can get me an 80. It should. See, last week you were hoping he's going to get 100. I'm telling you, he's not going to do it. Maybe one out of 24 games he'll get 100. Maybe. Oh, we had this conversation last week, champ. He's dud. He's a dud. He's not dud. This place for a really he's, shit team. He's the future. If he was playing for the Bulldogs, the if present. he was a Sanders, I reckon he'd be scoring those scores that Sanders is scoring. Easy. If he was a Bulldogs, he'll be yeah. scoring them? Probably. But that's he's the future champ. The Eagles are shit, and they will forever be shit for at least three more years. Maybe. Um, um, McGovern is a great pod until he gets injured. If anyone wants to grab some 120s until he gets injured, this is your time. Because this is where you need to get that McGovern. He's taken all the kick-ins, he's taken all the intercept marks, and he loves... I just like... I, it's, it's, I, if they, have they played Carlton yet? Because Carlton loves... West Coast, no. Carlton love kicking points. Um, but, yeah, three guys, 12. Anyway, look, I wouldn't touch anyone from West Coast at all. What about Elliot Yo? He got 29 touches. He scored pretty <laughs> shit. But 29 touches from Elliot Rowe is efficiency. huge. 44% efficiency and only 66% time on ground. It's a, that was a monster game from Elliot Yo. You know what? Because he followed Vont absolutely everywhere he went. In the back line, in the forward line? Yeah, and he actually done a really good job. He actually done a really good job. So. Well, the Vont was the vulture getting a couple of uh, free kicks. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Everyone's talking about Bramble, champ. Talk to me about Bramble. Uh, he got over a 90. He went up a fair bit, but he's still <coughs> an option. I don't want him. He got 27 touches, 7 marks. Champ, a lot of them are uncontested, or you only got 4 contested touches out of all of them. So yeah, he's not a contested player. He's Look, in, Ed Richards is going to come back from his injury, concussion, whatever it was. Um, and then you still got Bailey Dale in there, and you got all these other rebounding defenders. I don't know about... I think he's just a 60. A 60 is around the corner for him, and I guess no one's going to be happy with Champ, that. Champ, we can't. I agree. I agree. I don't like Bramble at all. Um, Rebecca Kamas. It's great. I think you are at a slight advantage in the cash generation department. If you, I know, because that's the probably best number he's going to get, and he got it in the round three, so he'll be gone in a few weeks. It's, a, fan, it's a fantastic number. He's going to make a lot of money. Um, Champ, that Harvey Gallagher was just the same price as him. I don't think many people have got him, but he got uh, an eighty-nine. Yeah, I don't think uh, he. Wants but again, it's it's against he, again. he kicked two he kicked two goals against West Coast, which. McRae, Jack McRae, he's really. He's just, not an option anymore, and no. I don't think he ever will be. No. I think he's done. I think he's done for um, as far as Supercoach selecting him okay. is. And uh, yeah, if you've got Libertori, just keep in mind he is over 31. And like I say, a lot of times they pick older players because they are more prone for a vest when you're killing a side. That's right. That's why Bont was probably staying up because I think his he is a bit sore. But um, yeah, he did not have his midfield role that he loved. But mm. I guess, you know, Bevo's like, I think Trelaw and. Um, yeah, Vandermeer can take on the boys. <laughs> I think you just thought, well, we've got this in the bag. We'll just chuck him on forward, spare yeah. him a bit of heartache, and yeah. get Libra out, and, you know, the rest of the young boys can Sanders just go at it. Everyone. And as uh, Darcy did get a 50, he looked pretty shit, but I don't think there's any good really options on the horizon uh, for a while, Maddie, What do you reckon, Darcy? Nope. nope. So, as in nope, as in yes, pick him? <laughs> yeah, probably pick him. He's probably the best one. I'll just keep your eye on that mana as well from Geelong if you don't he have him. He got Because dropped. he got dropped, which yeah. is good, which means he's still on his bubble. Um, so let's hope for some more injuries. Maybe. But if Tom's Dangerfield's not on the team, they're still dropping him. Who knows, champ? You I'm, don't I'm know. Just we, saying, we can only hope. Just saying, his job security. Hey, his job security can't be too good. Well, all of them were. All of them. Like, yeah, they did bring back Braun, Atkins, Dunko, all the boys. Bunch of stars. Anyway, next game. We're taking too long to talk about all this shit. I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, Zach Heaney. Let's talk about him, champ. Why isn't he in your team? And why? Because you? you're an idiot. You're a fucking... Get out of my face. I'm like ra- way higher ranked than you, you stupid idiot. Wait, and you do have Heaney. In, you're 70 points up and I had literally... I'm happened. in the top 4,000. Where are you, dickhead? I'm 70 points behind you. Yeah, so you're yeah. behind me. Yeah, so even with, I've got a Heaney. Even with Heaney, I'm still ahead of you. Chef, good on you. Yeah. But I got Heaney. Because you're an idiot. I've had a primo in cash on the bench for like three weeks. Yeah, that's, that's it's, stupid to it's do. It's a long season, champ. You're literally talking way too okay. early. I'm talking every way week. Way too early. You're yeah. not talking every you're week. You're the one talking to you because you're an idiot. Champ, I'm just... That, you're, it's not my fault you didn't get Heaney. Oh, so it's too early to talk. But last year, when you were hitting me in the early rounds, you were, like, I, you were like, oh, it should be called Supercoach Master, not Masters, because well, I'm ahead of you for one rank. But when I do it, I can't. No, I'm not saying you can't. Oh, then shut the fuck up. But I'll take fi- it. But, but I finished on top of you as well. Yeah, because the last round you went on top of me when I had two heroes from Jockety and Ridley. 
So yeah. who's could ahead you, now? You and you got Heaney, so shut up. All right, oh, okay, shut <laughs> Jordy doesn't have Heaney. Um, and that's my point that I was making. How does it feel watching him get 148s and kicking two goals? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm laughing, chat. Um, meanwhile, Grundy, he's doing his best. Is he best? Well, uh, that's the best you're going to get. That's the best we're going to get from Grundy. Who did he play? He played Richmond. Yeah, he should be getting more than that, really. Like, 23 like, touches. 23 touches and uh, 21 hit outs, um, mm-hmm. even with the nank. Champ Roberts, what a superstar. He's not going anywhere until only in the back line when he gets DPP. Goulden, surprisingly, had 150, got a 73. That's pretty funny for people that don't have it. 25 him. touches and a goal. I'm, I would still pick him up after his buy. You I wouldn't pick him up after his I buy? I don't know. I don't know. I no, it's think... Goulden. He was over 600k last year. He's, he has to be getting better all the same. So well, Why is he going shitter? Well, I think if 25 touches and a goal doesn't get you good, I Champ, think it was his efficiency. You think, you think Richmond midfielders would do well, but anyway. James Jordan, he got a 68, which is a modest, cucky... 65. 65, sorry. Um, James Jordan, let's talk about the benefits and non-benefits of trading him. So obviously West Coast, where everyone gets over 50, no problems. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's James Jordan, who you can use a big stepping stone to get yourself a Heaney. <laughs> or a Flanders. Or a power. Or someone that's... Yeah, I think... Um, I don't know, Champ. With the buy rounds, I kind of don't want the James Jordans, the Reeds, the Williams, those mid price cucky players that aren't going to get you those maybe 80s and 90s um, where Bucket Carmises can do the same. But have he does a Riley Bonner and gets you 104? Riley Bonner is never going to do that again. <laughs> he could. He's got a pretty good role. He does. But um, I don't trust him. Um, but James Jordan, he's never got over 20 touches yet. He's just getting 18, and 19, One 18, would 19. argue that against West Coast is the best time to do it. Am I wrong? There's not all everything in place for James Jordan to get a 90. Holy one for, look, at the end of the day, I think we have to get rid of him. Oh, sorry. We do. People that have Heaney and the rest of the people that everyone's got, which is Grundy, Roberts, James Jordan. How many teams, are, how many teams are in Heaney? I want to see how many They're people. Only 30%. Like, oh, thank there's, God. Like, there's like 60. 30, 36.8. There's like 30. Like how many teams? <sighs> <laughs> yeah, love it. It feels a little bit better. <laughs> it kind of feels like 80% where you're stuck in the room with someone who's got a handy. Yeah, but uh, 36.8 yeah. is not the worst. Uh, yeah. um, all right. So let's, anyway. No one else. No one else in Tigers, really. No one is relevant. No one is relevant. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna gonna about, move it on. All right. Last game of the round, which is hold on Geelong. What a drainer of that third quarter weight. That was um, good because I wanted Thomas Stewart to I know, I'm have so his upset. concussion test. Because he you Tom, really want me to do bad, don't you? Chat, no, I don't. I love you. I love you, Josh. <laughs> I love you. Because I, I want to be the one that says, oh, I'm better than you. You literally it's done that really, last year. I'm a, doing what you've done to me. Grow up, champ. Grow up, all right? That was last year, all right? Be, You're a better more, person now, be, clearly. Be I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a dad. You've changed? I'm a dad now. I've got, I've, oh, I've got poor responsibility. <laughs> poor Sarah. Uh, Tom Stewart. That was great. He only, like, he was on 68 at half time. And he only got 30 odd points for the rest of the half, which was good because I don't know him. And Jordy does. That's why I'm saying it. So, but again, I really, I want to get him on my team. So it's, uh-huh. he's going to have that score okay. for three weeks. All, all right, right, buddy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you get what you yourself? Dempsey's making the cash. You want him to do good for that one? Um, you know, Dempsey's making the cash. Is there anyone worth trading in or out this week in any of these teams? No. No? No. Some would say, um, Jai Clark got 68, I don't even know that. Didn't even look at him. Um, Jai Clark got a 68, which was pretty damn handy pretty for the cash yeah. generation. So now, now he's going to lose that cucky 12 and he's going to get some more cash, hopefully. Um, Sicily, uh, anyway, George. The Warpedo, 150. I'm going to say, if the Warpedo can clean up his disposal. He loves what? We, he loves where we're the footy. Anyway. He loves what? Let's talk about, now that we've weather. got through the games Thank in God. some kind of manner, <laughs> let's talk about... Our trade-ins, Matt Seed. George, if I don't see Heaney on your trading list, is he on your trading Let's go to your trading's first. Okay, right? we'll go to my trading's. Because you've got a lot of shit that you need to get rid of first, clearly. Champ, what are you talking about? You've got all... four superstars. No, you... All right, let's look at my potential pre- trading. The premiums are fine. Let's have a We've look. We've got here. Flanders, Whitfield, Heaney. Heaney. Why have you got Heaney with a vomit mark? He doesn't make you sick. He uh, makes me... He makes me so sick. I can't even enjoy football anymore. Uh, I can't enjoy... Watching a game of football or a round of football when Heaney is getting 150s. Champ, he's 5'9". I know, but which, then I think about it, and like, that's only 60k more than Flanders. And I'm like, the difference, the, like, I can't. Okay, about 4'8". Guys, I don't know how seriously <laughs> you take Supercoach, but when your mood is drastically affected by the scores of one player, then... That- 
That You're golden, as sick and serious as me. That golden head stud. I think I might dye my hair gold for next week and just. We'll, uh, we'll talk about that later. That's dream of the day he gets injured. And I, I don't have him. I know, <laughs> and I don't have him. It yeah, should happen soon. He's now, let me talk to you about Shitfield. Um, if Blake Howes does bad, we're going to need some kind of stepping stone or a premium. I can't afford Luke Ryan. I would love to grab a Luke Ryan. There's really no one else that I'd really want to bring in. Can you think of some other players? Uh, other below, the below, below the Luke Ryan numbers? Around 550, yeah, 500k. No. It can go risky champ and... Um, Not John Clark. No, Rick, Mitch McGovern. Uh, Jeremy McGovern champ. He's second. He's just below. No, honestly, midfield is the only backline target for me. Um, if Rick and Martin was in the backline, I would pick him up in the backline, but I can't. Yes. So, yeah. I really would need to fill holes in it now. But if Blake Howells gets a 65, I'm reckon I'm just taking that and then trying to fix the other... Because I hate the defence. Unless you can bring in an absolute... Premium. We just need to hope that Melbourne do Melbourne defenders do very good this week because in the next when they play again, mm. when we don't need because we don't need them the week after when Sydney have their bye and Collingwood have their bye. We don't need them the week after that when obviously they have their bye. Yep. But the week after that is when <laughs> is I don't know when how long we're is, these guys. is when Roberts and Sextons and McCurches and okay. all these players will have the DPP where we literally don't need to find someone. We can just. Yeah, Fine. I've got a feeling that they're not going to be around for that long in my team anyway. You don't feel, you don't feel? okay. Uh, so look, I might not even make any premiums. I might just go down to a Darcy or a Draper. They're the only two rookies I really like this round. I've got Draper. Darcy Draper. Um, Draper, I kind of, he was compared to Michael Johnson by JL. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said that he kind of reminds me of him how he plays. He even got the same number, 37. Yeah, I like the way he plays. So I, I don't mind the way he plays. He actually had a not too bad game on the weekend. And, and look, with his drop security, he's pretty good too because that Cox is out for 12 weeks. Where he was pretty big at the start of last year. And also, obviously, Oscar McDonald, who was another key forward, who's out. He's actually, that's the news that has came out about Oscar McDonald. He's now out for the season. Well, there you go. PCR so, Oscar, Oscar McDonald's out for the season, and Brendan Cox is coming back for at least 10 to 12 weeks. That's more than enough. So, that's job security right there for that uh, sexy Draper there. Don't, um, don't mind it, guys. With his dreads. So, now, um, we didn't really speak about Draper, but he got four kicks, 10 handballs, yeah. Mark. So, did a couple of interceptions, but... Um, yeah, I like him, Champ. I like Pass the eye test for me. He looked, he looked good. Even though the stats didn't blow my mind, he did look good. Did now, score. your trade-ins, I'm seeing three really different options from me, Matty. Mm -hmm. A Merritt, a Miller, and a Steel. And that is, they're pretty strong options. And a Darcy and a Draper. Mm -hmm. Now, which one are you liking the most out of this? If you could only pick one of these bad boys, which bad boy has been the baddest boy? Steel. That's so... That's who I want. Oh, look, obviously merit is merit, but he's 120. I love when you say merit is merit, but steel is like that we know merit is merit. Merit knows what he's doing. Well, of course, merit's one of the top premiums, but um, can I you, think. Can I you think afford merit? Not if I want to get steel. <laughs> is there any way you can bring in two of these bad boys? I can bring in Took and Steel. Nice. Tell me for who? James Jordan. Mm hmm. Nolly Wines. Ooh. But you don't like them 90s? No. Um, Wines has had enough. That's fair. That's fair. Wines has had enough. Are um, you keeping Bonner? No, he's going to. <sighs> Matty Bonner. No, nah, he's... Look, look, this is how I thought of it. Bonner's... You've got a golden it. ticket. But Bonner, Bonner, if he gets an 80, he's only gone up 20K, right? But then um, what about the next week? Yeah, he loses that's that that's okay. 47. But again, like, with Steele's average and Took's... So Steele and Took are both... Aver uh, they're both break even 70. I think they're going to go... I think Steele's going to be get his high score against Richmond this week. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he will go at... L he'll, he'll just make as much money as Bonner does, if not more. And I just got a message saying, Wine's done his hammy. Add it to the show. <laughs> wow. What, did you hear that, guys? Wines has done his hammy right now. Reliable source. Live, reliable source. Um, I hope he does, champ. If, he's, if Jamie just messaged, messaged us saying that he'd done his hammy, but if he didn't, we'll be looking like idiots, that's for sure. Yeah, um, well, but all the reasons, walking. all the reasons to get rid of him. Um, well, either way, either uh, way. I think Wines, even while I've said talk up Wines, everyone gets him. No, no. Uh, Wines has to be uh, traded out. I think. Not, it doesn't have to be, but his role. The role is not really there anymore. His time on ground is not good. But his CBA is a 15. He's gone. He's, he's just done his hammy. So who cares? Get him out. I'm saying if Jamie's wrong. So right, <laughs> so right now, champ, so I want to ask you a question because yes. there's... Out of the three, so I've, Merit's out of... Now I can't get Merit because Wines wasn't in the plans for... So with 
took Steele and Whitfield in order. Took Steele and Whitfield? In order. Who would you go from best to last? Why Whitfield? Because... That's not even in your trading options. Um, he should be. Well, he's not. He should be. But you didn't put him in. I pretty much did, but you probably didn't put him in. No, you put Steele, Miller, and Merrick. No, there would have been a... There was six champions. You didn't read the message right. Whitfield's definitely in there. Oh, <sighs> well, I mean... Um, so Whitfield is oh, okay. in my So do you want me to add in... Yes, what of course. What I think they're going to average the, the most or no, no. money for jam? Just, just best average. Best average is going to be Merit. With, I just said the three. Merit with Took, Steele and Whitfield. Those are the three ones that I want. Two out of those three. Yeah, Merit. <laughs> Answer the damn question. All right, so Took, Merit. <laughs> took, Whitfield and Steele. <laughs> took, Whitfield and Steele. All right, uh, I would have to. You have to have Whitfield last. Okay, well then. See, my plan but is. But does that depend on what house scores? Because it's all about points on no, field. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's literally because if I can get two out of the three, but if I get if I don't get Tooker, if I don't get Steel, then Dacos comes in the midfield. Stupid Dacos, average 170. Round. If you want to get rid of him, I don't even blame you guys because he is. Anyway, I'm not guy. getting any help with Geordie with this fucking question. So Steel, because you're just talking about Dacos. I told you, that. Whitfield's the shittest one. You have to get Steel and Miller. But we, could Whitfield be top six in his category? We, who Whitfield? Maybe. I think that's. But you don't think Steel or Took can be top six or top eight in their line? No. So who don't you think can't? Steel and. So any, 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 both of them won't be top eight. In I, I think they have, both have a chance. They're side the real the year really good. I think maybe Took, took Miller. Oh, they both got such a good. There's only history. one thing about Whitfield that's really making me not want to get injury him. history. No, I didn't care about that. Um, he's by in the first week because he's so oh. the GWS, there's there's the you're not worried about real things. No injury history. Every time we've gotten his career, we've got we started with forty trades. If he fucking gets injured, oh, I'm get McGovern then, guys. Guys, get McGovern. Get McGovern. Why? All right, now let's do some captains because you obviously, guys, you need my help. Um, I, you need my help. I picked a good one last week, and let me ride it until I pick a shit one this week. All right, so first game, Gorn versus Adelaide. Not touching it. Not touching it, Matty. No, you're not touching it either. No. Wow. Champ, if I've got, when I've got Heaney's versus West Coast as vice captains, then I'm going to take Right, it. okay. Uh, Lions versus North are not touching. Now, Butters versus Essen is something that I've looked at. I think he's due. Setterfield Obviously- coming back, he is a tagger. So who do you think Setterfield will go for? He can't match Butters. He matches a lot of yeah, people. He's, he's, he's been training to be a tagger. Yeah, well, he can train more. And he will eat Butters up with his big body. Butters, but, butters, up. butters looks like he's going to knock himself out the way he, how tough and hard he goes in. He's not. But well, Cedarford would eat him, I reckon. Fuck right, this, I, I, this is the fucking stupidest thing I've ever if heard. If he's back in. But. All right. Um, he needs a. You can't. A dollar four favourites, Sydney. He needs the number one midfield, apparently, after what about, round zero. Now he's in round one. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> and he's that horse. Horse manure. Long manure. Horse manure. He. Gave Heaney 50% CBAs round zero. So it's like, oh, yeah, it's like a bit of a trap. And then when round two and round you, you, all of them, all of them, I don't know, all of them. had to pick him up at 4-8, champ. If I actually had him, I'd be the number one super coach player in the world. But you don't have him in the game. <laughs> all right. Could um, Grundy be a good captain, a vice captain no, against uh, Williams? I don't trust Grundy, and okay. neither should you. Uh, he's um, had four weeks playing and only one has been 144. So, understand. So uh, I even like Luke Jackson against De Coney. I think his strong, big body is going to just thrash him around like a little... Doll, yes. Yes, like a little doll. Um, I'd like the bond against Geelong because I like the bond everywhere if he's fit. And Tom Green versus the Suns. So there's going to be one of those four or five players I'm going to pick for vice captain, Captain Matty. Anyone else I haven't mentioned that you think is a good shout? Um, Steel versus Richmond. If you really want to get creative, Matty. Steel. Well, yeah, he is going to be a superstar. Of the, I think. Um, no, I don't think there's much. Nothing. You covered him, champ. Sarong's obviously in the best form, averaging the most. Do you think he would tagged LDU mm-hmm. and tagged him really well? I think he will tag Sarong. Okay. If you go and look for that game, the Carlton game, I'll be feel more comfortable putting Luke Jackson as a vice. So these captain. are the things you need to tell the players and the people. I am. Um, yeah. I will. Cool. Cool. I will. I have. Um, so no, they, obviously Dacos is never going to be a cover choice against uh, Finn McGuinness. You know what? He didn't play last week, Finn McGuinness. Well, yesterday he didn't play. So if he's still not in the team, 
it could be something you can think of. My, season, mind you, I wouldn't want it. Mind you, everybody, every game is being playing in Adelaide. It is gather round, so there's no home advantage. You say if you see except your Port Adelaide, except your Port Adelaide and, and Adelaide. But if you see, oh no, for, Carlton's gone to Frio. No, they're not. They're just gone to Adelaide. You know, so gather round. Yeah, gather round. So it's everyone. Everyone's travelling except the Adelaide. Boo. All right, final vice captain, captain. Right now, guys, I am going to be going for. If I had Heaney, I'd put vice Jeff, captain. We didn't even talk about our trades. Just, we just did. Who'd you trade in? I don't know. These are my potential trade-ins. So you were not showing us what I'll show you my t- trades. Okay, I cool. just don't know it. <laughs> I don't want people to sh- know my trades because Macaulay, I've got you this week in the cash league. Oh, I'm yeah, sure. because telling me his trades is going to really affect the game. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? He's like, oh, no, Maddie's trading this person. <laughs> I'm not going to trade that person anymore. That's right. That's always good. Well, I'll probably be bringing in Darcy this week. Yeah. I would like to bring in Draper. There's no really downgrade. It depends on how scores my trades. So it all depends on how. It all depends who doesn't get dropped because I also got Barry. So. Of course. Um, I don't know my trades. I can update you guys. Just to keep, keep a lookout on Twitter. I'll be posting my trades there. Good luck, everyone. We've hit 5,000 followers on Facebook, almost 2,000 on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe if you haven't already because we do this for you and the Kick Sunt Hall of Fame. And I hope you have a great week of football. Go no, he! Love you. See you, everybody. Love you. See, See you next time. Gotta go home. Have some dinner.